Yeah, obviously uh, a little disappointed in, in our effort this evening. Um, you know, I thought uh, you know Maine uh, certainly deserved to win the basketball game. Um, you know, they they executed, they uh, they made plays when they needed to, um, and uh, and I thought uh, you know particularly on the defensive end of the floor, our effort wasn't what it needed to be uh, in order to win a basketball game. But uh, you know, you got to tip your hat to Maine. Uh, they made shots, uh, they made big plays, they made steals. Uh, Made uh, you know free throws when they had to, and you know that ultimately that was the difference in the game. Coach, you talked a little bit about that defensive effort. Do you feel that fatigue had anything to do with that? You played a lot of games down there in Alaska, long trip back. Yeah, I'm not going to use that as an excuse. You know, we just uh, we just didn't execute. We didn't uh, we didn't fight hard enough, and uh, you know, Maine uh, you know presents a couple of interesting matchups. You know, and we, we we didn't take care of those matchups. Those two kids. A really, uh, you know, they got a good low post player. It'd be very, very difficult to handle. Um, and he demonstrated that this evening. And they got a very quick and athletic guard uh, who was able to get to the rim uh, and get into the paint and cause problems for us. So both those guys, uh, I thought, really, you know, had superb nights. And um, you know, we didn't have answers for them. Uh, typically, uh, the way you play the point guard position in John Lee's absence is it seems that. Marco's been more of your defensive guy and ball handler, while Demetrius is a nice shooting guard, point guard combo who can score off the bench. Uh, today down the stretch, uh, when you were put, switching offense, defense, you left Demetrius on the floor a lot more. Do you want to touch on that? Yeah, with well, Demetrius is a kid who has tremendous confidence. You know, he's not afraid to take the bats. He's not afraid to uh, make big shots. He's shooting the ball very well. And when we were down, you know, I just felt like, um, you know, he was a guy that could could make a shot when we needed it. And uh, he's, he's, he's a good offensive player, and you know I think he made some plays um, to help get us back into the game. What do you see when Reggie got tied up on that jump ball? Yeah, I, I mean, we were trying to get a timeout. Uh, you know, I thought he had possession, but you, you know, th th those are really hard plays because the referees are looking at feet, see if it's tied, actually tied up, who's calling timeout, who's not. So it's a really, and they're actually trying to get that out of college basketball that the bench can't call timeout for that very play uh, because they have to see and recognize it and at the same time see if the ball is in possession. So it's a tough play, but I thought Reggie had it and I thought we, we, we could get a timeout there, but you know, that's, that's you know, how it goes. I like these. Coach, uh, Justin Edwards finishes with 30 points on 11 for 12 shooting. Uh, what were you trying to do defensively and um, what? Really we, we tried a couple different things. Obviously, nothing worked too well. Um, you know, we tried a little bit of zone and tried to force him to shoot from outside. But he he drove the ball against his own, got in the lane. Uh, you know, I thought he he did a great job of uh, you know beating us off the dribble and um, scoring over our bigs and, and scoring around our guards. So I just think he had a tremendous night and he's a very very good player. Uh, Dinko, in my opinion, looked the most comfortable he's looked on the court all season long today. He played nine minutes, and it seemed yeah. he was working in harmony with Reggie Spencer. You yeah. see uh, his minutes going up, and that being a nice front court matchup for you as the season progresses. Like I said, uh, you know, Dinko unfortunately missed the Canadian trip for us, so he's about seven games behind, uh, you know, the rest of the group. So he's just now kind of getting into it and. Trying to get him into the rotation. Certainly, you see when he gets in, he can he can present some problems for the other team. He's got a nice touch around the basket, so we're trying to you know work him in nicely into the rotation. And I think you know eventually uh, you know he and Reggie can can share that spot up, up front. Coach, you were down by 11 at one point late, and then Fallon makes one of the two free throws and gets it to within one point with 45 seconds yeah. to go. What was your mindset from there on, or what did you think yeah, that it was? We talked about we talked about fouling, uh, you know, and, and it leave more clock to to get get the ball back. Uh, we decided to go with our press to see if we can generate a turnover, um, and then if the clock got down, they got the ball in the front court, then we would, you know, give a foul to, to send them to the line. I think we deflected the ball, the ball got out of bounds, then we just tried again, and then we tried to get the jump ball, and uh, you know, didn't get it there, but. You know, there's so many, so much time left. As you see, we still had enough time to to tie the basketball game up. Um, so I don't think you want to give up too early. And I thought our press at that point was 
it was creating some uh, indecisiveness uh, on, with their ball handlers. So we were just hoping to get lucky, and I think Davey got a steal there, and you know, we, we misplayed a fast break. So we had our opportunities, we just didn't make the most of them. On that, that last play with uh, with Quincy, was that, uh, I guess, in terms of who took the last shot and how you, how you had it scooped up? Yeah, we had it schemed up where, and they, they kind of bodied him so he didn't get free, but we had uh, Joel in the, in the far left corner and Quincy on the left wing and kind of try to play two man off those two guys. Those two guys are our kind of go-to players at this point. And, um, you know, so he kicked it to Joel, Joel, Joel baseline. And once that happens, you, you, you know, we, we know we share the basketball. And I thought, uh, I thought Davey could have shot the ball and he made one more to Quincy. He had his feet set right there, wide open. Um, so he had a great look. I have no problem with the execution of the last play. We wanted to either Joel or Quincy, depending on how they were guarding, to, to get a look. And, um, you know, we got a, we got a great look, uh, unfortunately, just didn't make the shot. Can you just Hi. talk us? Uh, a little bit about Reggie Spencer. He finished with a double double. It seemed like he really had it going on in the first yeah. half. Yeah, I thought I thought that's actually how we uh, lost control of the basketball game. We came out, we had a five point lead, and really, you know, made an emphasis that Reggie had it going. You know, they get twelve and eight, maybe at halftime or something like that. And, um, and I thought we settled for jump shots. You know, took we, we took one out of the corner early in the clock. We took one out of the top of the key early in the clock. And we just didn't show shot discipline. Um, in that portion of the game, which which let me, me come back and eventually get a lead, and now we're fighting from behind. Um, but I thought there was that, that little five-minute stretch there where we really didn't take great shots um, and didn't play. We went away from Reggie. Uh, and, uh, you, you know, I think to give credit to Maine, I thought they did a nice job by playing through the post and, and playing through the guys who were who, who having a great night for them. Those guys uh, really either finished plays or made plays. Um, and I thought on our end, we, we really kind of settled for shots. And some of that's the zone where you, you're kind of open, but you, you have to have a feel and time to sense where it is. I thought tonight was the first time that we really showed our youth. Um, we were, we, we, we've been in pretty uh, close ball games before, but I think we've, we've never kind of really lost our composure offensively. But I thought in that stretch, right in the um, kind of middle of the second half there, we, we showed our youth. And uh, certainly something we'll talk about when we meet tomorrow. Great. Thanks, everyone. Thanks. Thanks.